and we are live okay um hi guys welcome to the monument grills channel my name is john tonight we're going to run you through a whole bunch of grilling recipes on the brand new monument grills color grill that one's up yeah Okay. All right, guys. Little technical difficulties. Start running through it. Try walking in. There. No. Yeah. It's okay, frozen. So let's, it's frozen. So let's go to this. Maybe the cannon, the cannon's not working right now. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit cancel right here, remote shooting. You click where you click anything? Yeah. Live video? Live oh, video. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Bingo. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Monument Grills channel. My name is John. I've been cooking for over 25 years. And tonight, I want to run you through some delicious grilling recipes. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of veggies. We've got some meats, too. And we've got some watermelon. Who knew you could grill fruit, right? Well, I did. And I'm going to show you how. Um, we're live here on the Monument Grills channels. We are on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, we're ready to cook. Let me show you a little bit about the grill first while we turn it on. This is, this is the new Monument Grills color grill. It's a four burner grill. It's got those super cool blue LED lights. User. This grill features a sear zone, super intense heat for high heat uh, grilling and searing. So because of the amount of heat generated by this, you don't wanna leave your food there for too long. In here, it's got a warming rack. So once your food is cooked, you can place it up there to warm it or to slow it down to keep it from overcooking. We've got four burners and we've got a side burner. This is 12,000 BTUs. You've got about 72,000 BTUs. Uh, this runs on propane. It's got electronic ignition. Stainless steel box. Stainless steel everywhere. So it's going to last you. It's going to be easy to clean. It has a super cool easy view lid and a thermometer on, the, on there to let you know what type of temperatures you are achieving inside of your grill. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll start getting some heat going. That way we can start cooking, right? The chat is blowing up right now. All right, what's up everybody? Who's in there? We got Michael McManus. We hey. got Higher Grilling Barbecue, Veretta what's, Porter. What's up everybody? Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm so glad to see you. Shelly Ketcherside. I'm sorry if I mispronounced some of y'all's names. Bear with me. Take it easy on me. <laughs> Let's jump to... I got J-Rod, J-Rod Videography here helping me tonight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with these carrots and I'm just gonna take the little ends off here where the, where the stems grew, right? And we're just gonna clean that up. You can eat it, um, but we're just gonna go with a little bit cleaner preparation there. Thank you all for joining us tonight here on the Monument Grills channels. I really appreciate you, appreciate your patience. Does everything sound good? Please let me know if I've got echoes or something's not working right, all right? I'm here to help you cook better, also entertain you, and make it a fun evening for all. 
So like I said, we're, we're just cutting off the tops here of these carrots. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split them down the middle. Okay? Real easy, right? Make sure you have a sharp knife. If not, that'll be hard to do. But this will keep them from rolling around on the grill. Okay? Like I said, we're going to cook some carrots. I got mushrooms. We've got asparagus. And then we'll get into the meats as well. I'm in Texas. Where are you guys from? Renee said, love the color of the grill. Oh, isn't that nice? It's called teal. This is the green grill. Um, super fancy. Got a nice kind of retro look to it. Um, super sharp. Super sharp. Thank you, Monument Grills. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and it's kind of cold here. It's about uh, 45, 50 degrees. We're in uh, South Texas, San Antonio to be exact. And we are experiencing that uh, wonderful second spring, right? So you get spring and then you get a couple of hot days. And then uh, right after that, right after that, after you, after you get those couple of hot days, it gets super cold, right? We get another cold front. Um, and then from there, we, uh, we just kind of put up with it, right? We're waiting for the next warmer day so we can really get out and grill. Um, I have my studio set up in my garage. So we got the garage door open, uh, but that gives us a little bit of cover from the elements too, right? So um, the other day it was raining, but I was in here grilling and, and I thought that was pretty fun. Yes, sir, it was. So who else is on me with the chat? Let's see. Let's check out the chat real quick. Bakersfield, California, Higher Grilling Barbecue. Bakersfield. What's up, Higher Grilling, man? I like that uh, pita, pita recipe you did the other day. Man, that looked fantastic. I'm going to have to recreate that. Drunken Chef Barbecue watching from Mesa, Arizona. Hey, Arizona in the house. Shelly from Genevieve, Missouri. 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 Did I say that right, Genevieve? Missouri. I'm sorry. Yeah. Veretta, Santa Clara County, California. <laughs> all right. But all over the country, right? Dallas, yes. Much much love to y'all. Hey, Texas. What's up, big Texas? Big Texas in the house. Paul from Florida. Pennsylvania. So, Pennsylvania. Ocean Springs. What's up, baby? And we have Mary, I believe. Mary Elizabeth from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, San Antonio. What's up, Mary? Represent. How you doing? Represent. Represent. So right now we are going to clean up these portobello mushrooms. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a spoon. I took, I took out the stem and then I'm taking a spoon and I'm running it along the gills from the inside, right? And so what that's going to do is it's going to help us remove those gills. This isn't like a, a super hard thing. It's, it's kind of tender, kind of delicate um, because mushrooms are delicate, right? And you don't want to tear it up, but you just want to clean up the flavor just a little bit. And, and what, what that'll do is it'll uh, give you a meatier flavor. In case these grew too much into the dirt, sometimes those grills, uh, the gills, not grills. See, I'm, 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 all about, I'm all about the grills, right? Sometimes the gills on the, uh, the mushrooms can get really low to the soil that they're growing in and pick it up, right? And we want to take every chance we can to prepare some, uh, some nice fresh food. So there you go. We'll clean that up. Let me show you one more time. Let me clean this guy up here. Pop this open real quick. All right, yeah, grab you a drink, guys. Grab you a drink. We are gonna be here for about an hour. We're gonna have a couple of giveaways. Uh, Monument Grills, are you on the stream, Monument Grills? Pop in and say hi. Let me know you're there. Make sure everything's running right. So we got uh, Matt Matt asking, how do we win the $200 gift card? Hey, that's what we're here for, right? But uh, hang out, be active in the chat. Give me a lot of likes, a lot of loves. Can you share this? Can you take a minute? Can you take a minute to share this stream? Uh, share it with your loved ones. Let them know you're here. Let them know you're having fun, right? We're here grilling, chilling, and uh, we're going we're gonna to learn how to make some really good food tonight. Uh, so while you're, the ways to win, right? We all want to win, right? I'm a winner. You're a winner. J-Rod, you're <laughs> a, winner, a winner, right? Right. We're winning, right? That's what it's about. So uh, we're going to do a couple of giveaways. We got some gift cards we're giving away, and what we're going to do is uh, those that have shared it, liked it, give me some likes, loves, get those hearts flowing right. 
Let me feel the love, baby. And then uh, be active in the chat. Ask me questions. Um, let me know what's going on, right? That's Those are ways that you can win. All right, so we've got these mushrooms cleaned up. We've got some other Bellas over there. Yeah, Monument Grills is in the chat. Monument Grills is in the chat. All right, thank you, Monument Grills, for sponsoring this uh for sponsoring these videos appreciate you much love much love to monument grills all right so so we've got uh we're gonna take off these woody ends if you want to make a beautiful asparagus soup these are great for asparagus soup right so save those you can uh you can reuse them for my purpose tonight we're just gonna be grilling so I, I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that this tonight but we want to get a couple of these vegetables um cleaned up so that way we can get them on the grill nice and pretty nice and pretty on that beautiful color grill right have you seen the other ones they got a red one they've got a blue one and oh. then they've got this teal one Man. all stainless steel construction um i put mine together in a little over an hour uh it runs on propane and uh so far i've had a couple of cooks on it and so far, I've had a couple of cooks on it. Uh, I did some sausage and some chicken the other day. I did some shish kebab, some uh, some kebabs. We did a pineapple curried rice. Oh, that man, was pretty good. Grill, grilled pineapple coconut rice. I'm sorry, this one didn't have curry. Uh, but grilled pineapple coconut rice on that side burner, fantastic. I like the shrimp. J-Rod, you got to try that, right? We did some barbecue shrimp as yeah, well. Man. That was all on the color grill, guys. That's That was all on the color grill right there. Yeah. Look at that thing. Look at that beauty. So right now, we're up to 400 degrees. We've been on just a few minutes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little quick spray of some grilling oil. That's just to kind of coat the grates. Keep this beautiful food from sticking, right? And we'll do the rack up there too. All right, I feel good about that. So let's see, how are we gonna do this? Oh, I know what I wanna do. Let's come back to the cutting board. And what I wanna do is I wanna start building a little marinade, right? We're gonna do, let's do, let's do some carrots in there. Let's do some carrots and a little bit of oil, right? We'll just drizzle some oil in there and coat these guys up. Just nice, just nice. Because because I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna season the carrots, right? So if if we get it coated with with the oil, oops, I guess I should have used a bigger a bigger one, right? Actually, it'd be better if I did it on the. I'm gonna do this instead of the bowl. I'm gonna do this. Ray Sheehan asked what kind of spray is that that was a grilling grilling oil spray uh, from my local grocery store uh, I know uh, some of the other there's there's some so it's got a little bit of water in there to keep it from catching on fire right now I sprayed it directly right onto a super hot um, grill so you're gonna see some flames but because it's got a little bit of liquid in there, it's going to reduce the amount of flare-ups that, that you see there. All right, so on these carrots, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to season them. Now I've got one of these that has some cumin. I think it was, let me see, the chicken rub. The Monument Grills Monument Grills chicken rub has some cumin on there. And so I'm just gonna sprinkle that onto these carrots. It's got a, it's got a great shaker top on it. Uh, and so that'll keep me from over seasoning it. It does have a little bit of other great spices in there. There's salt and pepper and other delicious stuff. But I wanna season up these carrots pretty nice. And then we'll, uh, we'll set them over on the grill. Thanks Chef Ray, I've seen some of your videos that you put up man you got some good stuff going on i really appreciate it thank you for sharing that with the world you know we all want to get become better cooks and uh by sharing the love man that's how we uh how we pick up new tips tricks and ideas and uh that's one of the things that i'm here for too is to share what i've learned in my journey my you know i've been cooking for for 25 years 
cooking for over 25 years professionally and uh, with that I picked up a lot of stuff I've worked with some great people I've had some great experiences and because of that I want to share it with you all right I think we're ready to go to the grill with these carrots now one of the things that I'm gonna do right now I've got this thing blazing hot right I'm gonna turn these down a little bit to kind of medium and then we're gonna like kind of deliberately lay them out it gives you a chance to kind of slide them over and it's okay if they get a little bit charred that's gonna be good you like that with carrots um, the char flavor is gonna be good on there you don't want to burn like bad but a little bit of that char makes them taste really nice and the chat is blowing up right now appreciate the love chat thank you thank y'all for joining in on this beautiful Monday night all right so carrots recipe one recipe one now you can leave that seasoning if you want to but I want to make them taste a little bit different so I'm gonna go ahead and try to wipe up most of that try to wipe up most of that off of this tray just wipe my gloves down because we're still using the same ingredients right we're gonna use olive oil Keith from YouTube loves the side grill burner oh man I love mine too and I'm super excited about this um, about the sear burner we're gonna we're gonna use the sear burner today and, and I'm, I'm so excited to use that um, for the asparagus what we're gonna do is we're going to use some of this olive oil I'm gonna grab some garlic some minced garlic We're gonna do some salt. You can go kind of heavy with the salt because some of it's gonna fall off. And then we're gonna do pepper. How much pepper are you putting there? Man, you can you can make it really thick um, because it'll it'll be a good flavor in there. So I don't know where am I at about 30 turns. Pretty much. 30 turns. We we did 30 turns. 30 turns. 30 turns. All right, so now you got kind of a little slurry going on, and I'm just going to spread that on this asparagus, okay? Spread that on the asparagus. Nice and pretty. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with those carrots, okay? We're going to toss that around. But before I get there, I'm going to get a little bit more garlic. I'm going to get a little bit more oil. I'm going to get some more salt and another, I don't know, 20 turns of pepper. 24, Kobe Bryant. 24, 24. Now we're building flavor, right? On the carrots, we just did olive oil. On the asparagus, we did olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. We have that in the bowl. Now this is going to be for the mushrooms and we're going to do a little bit of red wine red wine vinegar and we're gonna make a bit of a vinaigrette okay now come back to the cutting board with me Justin please yes sir all right um, you're making somewhat of a vinaigrette right it doesn't have to be science but this is gonna be your marinade for your portobello's so we just did you know I don't know a tablespoon or so first thing I'm gonna do are we back on the cutting board yes sir okay on the cutting board so I've got that asparagus um, with the black pepper, salt, and garlic. I really like to get that into the tips up there too. So make sure that you sprinkle those around. All right, and now we've got, we've got some well-marinated asparagus. Now you could do this a day ahead and, and let, it, let those flavors really, really meld, really merge. Or you can go right over to the uh, right over to the grill and put them in. But first, I want to I want to start marinating that uh, that portobello mushroom. And I'll just take a spoon there and a spoon there. Working my gloves, we'll just kind of massage that around. Little deep is this something massage. that is this something that you would do at home? Is this something that uh, you know something you feel like you could you could do these recipes? Are they easy enough? Um, I think so. If I put my mind to it, yeah, right. I mean, just get in there, right? I've got a little bit of uh, time over here. Let's see. Maybe we could put a little time on that. 
get some time leads Little going. time. Yeah. I got time. I got time on it. Oh, uh, hell yeah. All right. Let's see. So let's see. I want to rebuild that one more time because I want to put these uh, these little uh, baby bellas in that same uh, marinade because that smells good. Man, those carrots are looking good. Right? Can you see him on the grill cam? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show him on the grill cam. All right, grill cam. While, while he's doing that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just rebuild this this uh, little dressing here, this little vinaigrette. Um, oh man, that camera doesn't know justice. Olive oil, garlic, salt. Okay, I'm gonna go back Pepper. to the cutting board. Cutting board, 24 turns, 24 turns. 24 turns. David Robinson, we can go 50 turns. 50 turns. 50 turns. 50 turns, 50 turns. let's do turns. it. A little David Robinson. All right, and then, and then we're gonna do a little bit of that red wine vinegar, right? Everyone in the chat seems to love grilled veggies. Oh man, they are awesome. They, they're they life-changing, you know? I, I didn't know much about it until I was working at Central Market, and at Central Market, we really lit up the grilled vegetables. I mean, uh, you know, I learned so much about food in that in that job. Did so much cooking, um, man. Uh, we kept it fresh, kept it seasonal, and uh, just really explored food. And that was that was such a fun job. Got to learn a lot. Work with great peoples. You know, the the chef that that I worked under, the one that hired me, was a two star Michelin chef. Uh, he was from Vietnam and uh, came to America and was a chef. Uh, in the country, you know, started started out as a dishwasher, working in some restaurants, and then just as he learned English and and got more confident in his skills, uh, moved up the ranks and uh, became a culinary badass. He was the chef at the Fig Tree here in San Antonio for a bunch of years. Um, good stuff. All right, I think we've got these guys marinated, and I think we're ready to go to the grill. Awesome. Now, next step. We've had those carrots on there for a few minutes, so I think it's time to start turning them. Yep, see, we've oh, got man, some charring. Oh man, those are pretty. We've got some charring going on and the good kind of charring, right? Can we get some cam action on that? We've got, oh man, right? Golly. I need a, I need a head cam, I think. A yeah. Helmet, helmet cam over here. Helmet cam. Helmet cam. Helmet cam chat, where you at? Helmet cam. <laughs> How about that? Oh man, whoops, man down, I lost one. Oh, okay, I can we one. show in a close up? Can we bring one to the camera? Yeah, definitely. Yes, definitely. sir. So I'm gonna go, how about, which which camera you want me to go we'll to? We'll go to head camera. This one? Yes, sir. This one? And uh, flip it to the charred part. Oh man, look at that, chat. Come on, chat. That? How about that? Ooh, I don't know if they can see the little Back steam. Back it up a little off. bit. Back it up a little bit. I don't know if they oh, can see Oh, that's pretty little, right there. A little bit of steam coming off, but man. Mm -hmm. Come on, chat. Mm -hmm. Show some love, chat. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the carrots going. Now, let's see. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn these down. I'm going to go over here on this side, Justin. Over yes, here, sir. A little bit closer to the camera. Let's see. And I got to make a little bit of room for uh, the next. The next little bit of veggies too. All right, so I got you right on the grill. All right, on the grill. All right, so now we've got these beautiful vegetables, right? And that's the cool thing about these side trays, right? We've got these beautiful side trays. So they kind of help you out while you're cooking, right? You're not just you're just not out in your backyard all alone. You got you got a friend with you. So we're gonna go ahead and add these asparagus. So is it asparagus? 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 I say I say asparagus. You know, asparagus I guess asparagus. I guess I don't know. Asparaguses. What's what do y'all vote for, chat? Asparaguses, asparagi, asparagus. I am the great asparagus. And then we'll get these mushrooms going too, right? So we'll get these uh, get these little baby bellas going. Oh man, the chat's loving the close-ups, man. Oh yeah. I'm loving the I'm loving the chat. I'm loving the viewers. I'm loving oh, the yeah. monument grills. Chat's showing up today. Yeah. Good to see you. 
Good to see you. Hello. 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 Good to see you. All right, so we got some beautiful stuff going on. Now let's chop in some of that heat. Actually, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put these guys up top. And we're going to go ahead and, and take advantage. And look how you can of, see right through. Of the clear view lid. Yeah, clear view lid. Got it going on. Got it going on. Clear view lid. Got it going on. All right, so, so far, so far, so far, what do we have? We've got carrots. We've got asparagus. And we've got the lovely mushrooms marinated, right? So we, we prep the vegetables. We season them up. We marinated them. And now... We're cooking, right? We're cooking right here on Monument Grills. This is this is our color grill. This is the teal color. It is uh, beautiful. It look good at your next barbecue. I think you should get one. Uh, I think you should stick around. I think you should be active in the chat. And I think that you should win a two hundred dollar gift card, right? I like that, man. Oh so, yeah, people are loving that clear view. So the, the right now we're sitting. We're we're edging up to three hundred and twenty five in here and you're taking advantage of that convection right so so like you're like you cook in your oven uh the lid allows you to hold in the heat so that you get more warmth throughout your dish let's see so anybody have a favorite drink tonight i'm going to do a little bit of red wine and we're actually going to cook with it too i'll show you how i've got some beautiful steaks and we're going to marinate them with a little bit of red wine Oh, Not yeah. red wine vinegar, red wine. Getting down to the meat and potatoes, huh? That's right. Oh, prost. Okay, let's see. So, I promised you meats. I promised you meats, right? This is salmon, right? We've got a whole beautiful side of salmon. And we're going to do it a couple of ways. Whoa. That's one way. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's one way. Freshly so, caught. Freshly caught. Freshly caught salmon. I don't think they saw that, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a cedar plank, and I've been soaking it. I've been soaking it for a few minutes, about thirty minutes. Um, give me just a second. Let me go dump this. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Let's check out the chat. Iced tea and coffee drinker. Oh, we saw it. They saw it. Oh, busted. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, well, okay, jumping, happens, jumping right? back to the grill. Oh, let's, look at that. That's pretty. Let's look back at the grill, right? Let's see. Man. Let's Here's see, chat. My Here's my tongs. Let's check those mushrooms. All right, we're getting a little bit of grill marks on the mushrooms. The carrots. Oh, man. Oh, man. Those carrots are looking pretty. Oh, man. Not only looking good, but smelling good, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I think that we'll flip them one more time. I think we'll flip them one more time, get a little bit more of that charring going on, and then we'll move them up to the to the warming rack. Justin, I don't I don't think if I would have tried, I could have made prettier carrots, man. I'm, I'm super excited about how these guys are turning out. Those, um, those are tens. Those are tens. Ten out of ten, guys. What do you think, chat? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. These are some uh, good-looking carrots. These these carrots go to eleven. These carrots go to eleven. Can I can I show them up here on the? Oh yeah, let's do it. On the, on the oh top. man, look at those carrots. Man. Beautiful. 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 And then we'll just move them up to the top, right? Oh, wrong one. Ten, ten, ten. All right. Thanks for the tens, guys. Much love, chat. Much love. Appreciate the love, chat. Keep it coming. All right. Super happy. Super That's happy just with pretty. The That's just pretty. Super happy with the carrots. Now we're gonna move these uh, mushrooms down. I'm gonna give these guys a flip. Woo! It's okay, don't be nervous. We are professionals. We are professionals. It's okay. I'm grilling, of course you're gonna have fire. Chat, 
It's okay. The cool thing is it's contained, right? We've got a beautiful grill, stainless steel, uh, stainless steel construction, and and it's all good. Put this asparagus. Flip this asparagus. Flipping the asparaguses. I can see that they're starting to uh, get tender on the side that was against the grill. And that's awesome. Alright, just a couple more pieces. Some more flips. Oops. So, so far I've lost a carrot and an asparagus. No mushrooms. No mushrooms will No harm. mushrooms will be lost. No mushrooms will be lost today. Alright. Okay. Let's see. I got a little flare up on this guy over here. I'm going to move him. They're too close together. That's okay. Keith wants to know if he's invited for dinner. Yes, Keith. Uh, you sure are. You sure are. Uh, <laughs> Come bring, on down, Keith. Bring some drinks. Bring, bring some, some drinks. drinks. Okay. So, let's see. I'm liking where I'm at. I'm liking where I'm at. I think I got time to go ahead and fillet fillet our salmon and I'll make it quick all right let's get some gloves let's get some gloves so we're gonna do salmon a couple of ways I want to cedar plank it and then I want to also uh, I want to uh, grill it right so we'll cut a couple of steaks and then we'll also uh, do it in the on the cedar plank so soak your cedar plank for about 30 minutes. Uh, you want to use water or broth or juice. Awesome, awesome. Salmon. So salmon. So we're going to do it a couple of ways. I want to do some where I take the skin off. And so did you see that? I kind of cut down towards the skin. And now I'm peeling the skin back so that I can... Um, fillet it, right? Nice. But for the cedar plank, I'm going to go ahead and leave that skin on. Okay. Cedar plank, I'm going to leave the skin on. And we're just going to put it right on the, the cedar plank. For, to skin it, right? I've got the skin exposed and I want to get my knife right down towards the, uh, towards the skin. I want to pull on the skin, push with the knife, pull on the skin, push with the knife, and I'm, I'm kind of letting the knife do the work, okay? Come on, chat, look at that. Look at the knife work. And then we'll go ahead and we'll save this for some, for some of the, uh, for some grill pieces, and then we'll do this tail segment for the for the uh, cedar plank, okay. Nice. So, can you see that cedar plank? And then we'll season that. Which one do I have here? We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this with the Monument Grills uh, chicken rub, right here on the on the uh, salmon. Pretty. I got a question. So yes, yeah. uh, the other day when we were streaming, uh, yes. you said shrimp don't read. Shrimp don't read. Yeah. So so that was that's the truth, right? Because believe it or not, I was able to use that chicken rub right here on the salmon, because salmon don't read either. And it's not it's not that seafood don't read, but but the salmon the salmon doesn't know the salmon doesn't know that that bottle says chicken rub, but we know that it tastes good, right? So. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try different flavors um, here on on our food. Okay, back to the cutting board. One of the things that you can do to make to improve the flavor of your salmon is called shaving it. Take the edge of your knife, the, the cutting edge, and run it right along uh, your fish. Now, why in the world would you do that? Well, because whenever they pack this salmon, whenever they pack it out at the uh, fish market, there's a whole bunch of them on top. So then. You get that little bit of stuff that 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 is residual, and uh, you do a couple of passes. Oh man, you want to do a close? Oh man, it's already gone. 
Let's say a close up. Oh yeah, I could have done a close up. That chat loves them right. close ups. All right, close up, close up of the shade, right? So alrighty, close up. So you see that? You see that on the edge of the knife? That's going to go into your mouth unless you take it off, right? So we want to go ahead and we want to clean up the salmon. Clean up your axe, salmon, and then uh, that's going to be able to uh, help you eat it. So we're going to do about the width of your knife is going to be the fillets, right? Hopefully we can get four out of this. Look at that. Did you see that? Wah, wah, wah. All right. That's so nice. we got four fillets, right? Now let's do a little fanciness here. Um, I've got some, uh, I've got some dill. We've got some dill herb here. And we'll do some of that on the salmon. Uh, first thing, we'll do a little bit of uh, salt. We'll do some salt. Pretty. Um, we'll do some lemon zest. What does a lemon zest do? So lemon zest adds a lemon flavor without adding acidity. Okay. So so if you want like the best, I don't know. Can you smell that? Can you can you? Interesting. Right. So mm. so you get you get all of you get all of the great aroma of the lemon without the intense bite and acidity. Okay. So we're gonna put that next to the fish, right? We want that right next to the fish. What brand of knife are you using? Chat wants to know. Uh, so that first one, the big one, is a Dalstrong, um, Dalstrong knife, and then this is just a microplane. Uh, so back here, um, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Let's go ahead. We've already got salt. We've already got pepper. Let's go ahead and we'll do. Um, we'll go back to this one over here. And we'll do a little bit of lemon zest on there too. Pretty. And on this one, I want to go ahead and I want to do some of the dill. On the grilled one, I'm not going to do the dill. And let me tell you why. Because on the grilled one, I'm going to be flipping it on the grill. So that's why I chose not to do the dill on there. Okay. And then we can take, we can take this lemon and we can cut some thin slices. Oh yeah. And we'll place that right over right over our um, fish here. One more, one more. Give me one more. All right, cool. So we've got these guys here. So Jonathan Psalm, I wanna say I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Can we go to can we go Yeah, to yeah. He said won't zest burn the grill would it make more sense to add after or will it just kind of melt in sure sure but in this in this preparation in this one right here it's going to sit right because we're not going to turn and flip it so my my bad rookie mistake right on the zest on there i just it's it looked pretty i got excited all right let's come back and we'll get these veggies <laughs> all uh, right look at the get, veggies get, man get back on the grill just got you all right so we've got some portobello's We've got some baby Bellas. Oh man. We've got some asparagus. Now the asparagus, I think we're good. Asparagus, I got some charring going on on it, on one side. And um, we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Carrot, same sort of thing. What are we thinking? Close up, chat. Close up on the mushrooms. Close up on the mushrooms. Oh man. So let's see. Top cam. Oh yeah. So we've got a portobello mushroom. Oh, that looks pretty. Look at that. Mar marinated. Come on, chat. Marinated with a little bit of red wine vinegar. All right, back to grill. All right. Oh, wrong one. And then now we've got our grill loaded up is the top rack removable yes it is top rack is removable all right so now which which camera are we going to we're gonna go we're gonna go to, to uh grill, grill cam? yeah we'll go to grill cam. uh it's right there on grill cam yeah you're good okay on grill cam what do you think about that guys how does that look 
So we've got salmon that we've seasoned, and then we've got uh, the, the dill and the lemon, right? And we're gonna put that right over the grill grates, and we let it go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this side down to low. We'll keep these two up uh, pretty high. We've got a little bit of heat shield from the, uh, actually I'm gonna turn this this way, just so that I shield those vegetables just a little bit so that they don't burn. Um, but that's that's our look right there. Um, let's see, okay, and then now back to the cutting board. Back to the cutting board. Now let's finish seasoning this up, right? So we've got this salmon and so far it's got salt and it's got some of the lemon zest. I wanna get some uh, black pepper on there. Right, we got a little trigger happy with the lemon zest. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Jonathan, you can definitely do it at the end. Uh, that would be fine. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that... Uh, I love trigger happy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think I think uh, some of it's gonna fall away and we'll be all right. Um, so now I've got that side seasoned up, and then we're gonna go ahead and season the bottom, salt, and then pepper. All right, we'll give it a press. And now we're going on to the grill. Let's go on to the grill. Um, can I show them on the grill cam? Yeah, yeah. Salmon. You get right there. All right, so there's your salmon, guys. Season, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon zest. Uh, we'll we'll kind of do the experiment, right? We'll see we'll see how it how it goes. All right, and then we'll just lay those right down on the on the cooking grate. Now that's gonna go great. Great. <laughs> that's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. All right, and so we are. Temp wise, temp wise on on these, we're at about uh, fifty percent on on the two on the left, and about twenty five percent over on the one on the right, and we're on straight low on the on the far one. All right, so we've got so far, we've got vegetables. So far, we've got vegetables. We've got carrots. We've got uh, asparagus. We've got. Uh, portobello mushrooms and we've got salmon on the grill let me go ahead and I'll, I'll remove this knife too so that way I remember that I used it now what's the next part you came for how about some beef how about how about some prime prime beef Ta -da. this is this is a prime ribeye prime ribeye come on chat let's get some claps Prime ribeye. Look at that marbling, man. Let's get that's, some claps in there. That's high prime, honestly. Yay! Now, I told you I was going to work a little bit of magic, right? We're going to do something different on this, uh, and I don't want to disappoint you. So, and I got a, I got a couple of more, too. All right, so we got a couple of other sticks, too. So, we'll add this all in together. We got some little guys. We got some littles and some bigs. All right. So let me go ahead and get some of this packaging out of the way, but we're gonna use the packaging to help us, right? Because we wanna keep this moving. So salt, heavy hand on the salt. Heavy hand. The real salt bay. Real salt bay. The real salt bay right here. What's up salt bay? All right, pepper. Pepper. Oh yeah. And now we're gonna hit it with the red wine, okay? We're just gonna go in layers. We do a little bit on the bottom. Don't be shy. This is a Cabernet. Napa Valley, Cabernet. If you're gonna go, go hard, right? Go, go hard. Okay. Do you see how I press those together? Let me go a little bit there. Press them together, and then go on the top. Nice. All right. We'll let that sit for just a minute. Real quick, John, can we show that to the top cam? The the wine. Yeah, sure. So Maybe this is Anatomy 2019 right, Cabernet from Napa Valley. 
Nice. Appreciate it, Shane. It's it's drinkable. <coughs> nice. How are we doing on time? We are at 48, right? So we've got we've got a few minutes. Let's see. I want to let that marinate for a minute. So I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to bring it over here to this side. And then now we're going to go in for the go in for the kill, right? We're going to go in and I'm going to I'm going to pull out the the final ingredient, the final boss ingredient. Flip that over. Keith says no skimping on the good wine. Huh? Keith says no skimping on the good wine. No skimping on the right. Life is too short to drink inferior wine, right? Okay, so we've got a we've got us a watermelon here. Watermelon. 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 All right, so over here on our grill, we are up to 400 degrees. Let me uh, go to that grill. We are up to 400 degrees. Let me get a clean knife. How about the cleaver, right? I wanted the cleaver. So, oh, so grill cam. Uh, man, um, let's see. Can I can I take them in? Can I take them in for a second? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh go ahead and take them in. How about that? I'll We're go going ahead. live video shoot, guys. I'll go ahead and I'll take y'all in. Check out, this is what you can do with the clear view. Oh there. man. Look at that salmon, right? So we've got salmon on the, on the cedar plank. We've got salmon on the grill. And then we've got our veggies up there. Well, that's a little, we've got a little bit of steam in there. It's hard to see with that camera. That's but, pretty. But there's, there it is guys. Full color, right? God, look at those carrots. Man, this is gonna look good on a platter. This time I got you some platters, so that way we can go ahead and uh, pretty. Come on, chat. Look at that. How about that? Uh oh, I lost the tail right there. Little belly piece. That's all right. And with your cedar plank, you don't have to. Uh, Turn it away, okay. All right. All righty. All right. So Gonna let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and put that back on cut to the, the watermelon. I'll go ahead and put that back on the tripod, and we are on the watermelon. All right. So I had a cleaver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this guy over, just so it doesn't roll on me, right? And then we're going to cut some nice steak size pieces okay that one we'll let somebody eat but we'll go ahead and we'll go thick steaks right thick steaks and then we'll just put a little bit of salt you can put pepper on there if you like but we're gonna we're gonna get this ready to grill Jonathan wants to know how hard it is to keep the clear view glass clean. So you do need to clean it, right? You need to clean it every time you use it, especially if you're using smoke. So if you use a smoke box, it's going to get, if you use a smoke box, you're going to get that smoky residue on your, on your uh, clear view window. But if you, while it's warm, if you take a paper towel with some water, go back and clean it. Um, if it gets really um, heavy duty, you can do a little oven cleaner. You can do a little bit of like a Windex or a, or a glass cleaner. Uh, but make sure if you use any of those chemicals that you go back with enough water to get them off of there so that they don't sit there and then possibly contaminate your food. Thank you for the question, Jonathan. Yes, sir. Jonathan, the man. All right. So we'll just do salt, right? Do salt on here. Just do a little salt on here. Now we got a lot of watermelon fans in the house. All right. Has anybody grilled watermelon before? I believe some people have. Let's check it out. Uh, Drunken Chef has. Drunken Chef, one for grilled watermelon. Sean. Puffy Thompson. Combs. 
Sean Thompson. Sean oh. Puppy Combs. Sean Thompson. Sean Thompson. Have you grilled watermelon, Sean Thompson? All right. Can we get? Can we get some, over here some on grill the action? One? Yeah. There we go. All right. So this is the sear zone, guys. It's got a great cover. It's got a super heavy duty uh, grill grate, so that that way it'll stand up to the heat and also hold up your food. Um, and it's it's super duper. We're gonna light that guy up. Okay, now it's going. What you're gonna see is it's gonna start glowing red. We wanna let that go for a few minutes and let it come up to temp so that way we can get some good grilling going on. Come on, Chad, you've entered the sear zone. Oh man, close up of the asparagus. What do y'all think, chat? Close up of the asparagus? That's pretty. So right now we're taking the vegetables off of the grill. Right, we're, we're kind of starting to get ready to where, to where we're going to plate this up. And, uh, man. I'll, I'll tell you what, this, this has been a, a wonderful cook so far. Uh, I can't wait for the rest of the food to come out. Oh, man, that's great. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Which, which camera are we on right now? Oh, we're on that one. We're on that one. Can y'all see the steam coming off? Oh, yeah. Man, I'll tell you what. Now you can even put a little bit of butter on here. How about that? We've got some. Throw butter. a little bit of butter yeah, on yeah. there. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that right there, and I'm gonna bring some butter over for these carrots. We're just gonna let that melt. We're just gonna let that melt onto the carrots, okay? Let it do its thing. Right. Do your thing. Do your thing. Hot stuff. Do your thing. Do your right. thing, carrots. And then, and then we'll set that guy right there. Now, with with that um, with that sear zone, we're getting ready for it. Okay. Man, this salmon sure is looking good too. I'll tell you what. That salmon, man. Okay, oh, I've got a little pan here. And then one more thing, this uh, this grill has a nice tool holder. So I've got a little grill, a little pan here, and I wanna get that guy hot. Now the reason I wanna get that hot is I want to melt a little bit of butter, and we're gonna use some butter to baste those steaks as they are cooking. Um, for, this, uh, for this salmon over here, I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. Chat's on fire right now. Chat is on fire. And just like that, we're melting butter. So what I'm gonna do, so you may have seen those herbs over here on the on the cutting board. What we're gonna do is I've got some rosemary and some thyme. Oh, and I've got garlic too, right? I've got garlic. So into that butter, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. We'll go back over here to the sear cam. Yes, sir. All right. The so sear zone. Sear zone. Seriously. Seriously, bro. Seriously. Um, coming back over here. Coming back here, I've got some mint for the watermelon, and we'll put that on afterwards, uh, but I'll need to clean that, clean that up a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Back to the sear zone. Sear zone. Sear zone. All right. See, we've already got some some heat going on with that. Oh, they wanna they want a mic close up of the searing. They want to hear that sear. Oh man. Oh, okay. Well, it's while yeah, it's going, yeah. While it's it. going. Okay. Yeah, chat. We got you. Give the people. Let's let's go. Give the people what they want. Right. That's what I'm here for, guys. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in to the Monument Grills channel. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. Right. There's my there's Facebook. 
There's Monument Grills homepage. There's Monument Grills Lifestyle. Uh, there's a couple more. There is uh, Instagram. There is YouTube. I hope you're watching me on YouTube tonight. Michael wants to know how long do you cook the watermelon? It's pretty quick. It's 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 pretty quick. We're not we're not going super long. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do, right? Because I want to keep that heat. I'm gonna go ahead and move my salmon over. I'm pretty sure that grilled salmon is done. That's pretty. The uh, other one needs a little bit of little bit of time. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy over. Can y'all see that? Y'all can see that right there? Oh, they can see it. Okay. That's pretty. Now we've got these herbs, right? We've got these herbs in there. So those are actually going to cook. They're going to release some of that uh, juice. And now over here on the sear zone, we're going to sear our first steak. Sorry, I missed y'all. Can you hear that? Can they hear that? Can, can y'all hear it, chat? Let us know, chat. Can you hear it? Can they hear the sear? Can you hear the sear? Can you hear the sear, chat? <laughs> Come on, chat. <laughs> Sound like a WWE. <laughs> <laughs> You've entered the sear zone. You've entered the sear zone. No one is safe. No one is safe from, from, from the, the sear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Paul couldn't hear it, but everyone else is... uh. Paul, you got to crank it up, Paul. All right. Yeah, Paul. Bring up the base. Bring up the base. Base. All right. What uh? What is that in the in the skillet? The pot. In, in the, the skillet pan? is butter, garlic, and then herbs. I've got thyme and rosemary. And what I'm going to use that for is to baste this steak. Nice. All right. So we've got side one, side two. Quick question. Why uh? Why thyme to base? Why thyme? Yeah, like uh, why do you use a uh, thyme to base? Uh, thyme is thyme is a very classic herb. You know, it's part of the bouquet garni, uh, but it but it helps to uh, elevate your meatiness. It's just a, it just goes really good with uh, with red meats, and uh, so you'll find it a lot of times in <laughs> a lot of times a lot of times a lot of times in like a meatloaf or in gravies or things like that. Um, it just it just has a very complimentary to beef uh, flavor. Nice. All right, so we'll go ahead and give this guy a flip, and now I'm going to start adding that, uh, adding that butter and baste it. Okay, now you can tie that off with with some uh, with some string. or you can just do it with your tongs. But we're just going to do that for now. Okay, all right. We've got, I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit since I do have this guy open. All right, so anybody have any questions so far? Let me see. Man, they just want to hear the sear again. They want to hear the sear, okay. They want to hear cool. the sear. Sear zone. I mean, seriously, right? What else are you here for? The sear zone. Man, that is fast. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. And it's got a good, it's it's got good coverage too. So I'm excited for that. How do you like your steak cooked, Justin? I like it medium rare. Medium rare. Okay. I feel like that's the best way to do it. You I know? think so too. I think that's the only way to do it. I think so too. So chat, so, let us know. I've I've got that. Let's go ahead and we'll get a little bit of butter on this side. Oh, that's pretty. Butter. And we'll flip it again. Uh, I watch a lot of Arnie Tex lately. He's got a cooking channel, and he uh, does his fajitas like this, and he calls it the flippy flip. So uh, right now I'll do the flippy flip on this, and what I'm doing is I'm kind of helping that uh, steak to baste a little bit. Oh man, um, let's see. What camera are we on? We're on? We are on the grill camera. On the grill cam? Okay, so look how quick that was. And uh, man, that is... Uh, oh man, let's bring that up to the top cam. That, that's just, to that's, cam. that's beautiful. Okay, top cam. Oh yeah. Top cam right there. Okay, now remember, you gotta let your, you gotta let your steaks rest for a few minutes, right? So 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this up here and we'll get the next one going on the sear zone. Let's see, I feel like I let y'all down with, with Oh no, with we that. can't let the chat down. So yeah, not, we're not going to let the chat down again, right? Not never. All right, so here we go, chat. We're going to, I'm sorry, I think I'm covering the camera. Yeah, right there is good. Go. So let's see if we can, we can hear the sear. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That was good. That was good. Can you hear the sear, chat? I can hear the sear. I can hear the sear. I'm just here for the sear, brother. Here for the sear. Paul hears the sear. Paul hears the sear. All right. Good. I redeem myself, Paul. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to move the cutting board over because we're going to do some of the other stuff next. Let me get this uh, cleaned up All just a little bit. Who's still with me? Who is still with me? Oh man, the chat's going crazy right now. Chat's nuts. Romeo Way? No beers? No beers? Uh, you know, I'm doing a little bit of wine tonight, Romeo. How about a how about a little cabernet? Uh, cheers to you, Romeo. Chat, take a sip, chat. Uh, what kind of drinking games can we start? Whoa! Yeah, Romeo, let me show you uh let me show you what uh, I'm drinking. I've got a, a Napa Valley Cabernet. This one's called Anatomy. It's a uh, 2019. Nice. So a couple of years old. A couple of years in the bottle. So it's got some good aging. Is that a COVID wine? COVID wine, right? Is that a COVID wine. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and we will mm. turn this steak. Let's see. All right. Chat, look at that grill, chat. That's a happy grill. That's what I call a happy grill. Happy grill. Happy little grill grill. Flip. Jonathan wants to know have you used the included smoke box yes I have um, I didn't use it for this cook uh, but I have used it and I love it um, I figured today we would do a little bit cleaner flavors we we're doing a lot of vegetables and so I wanted to go ahead and uh, show showcase those clean flavors for this one nice. all right let's go ahead and we'll give that uh, steak a turn nice he says how long or how much smoke can you expect using it um i, I think that we got a lot of long smoke out of it uh the last cook i did was over an hour and um uh, it was it, it was sufficient there was plenty of smoke i never had to refill it um so i, I really enjoyed uh cooking with it nice do you use chips or pellets in the smoke box um i did chips i did i did mesquite wood chips and um they they were fantastic it was uh it was the night that i did the picanha so on one of the earlier live streams i did a, a picanha kind of a brazilian steakhouse uh dinner and uh we did the smoke chips in there and it was fantastic nice nice do you wet the chips i did not okay. i did not wet them i just went straight up and uh and use them that way oh look at that look at the plating come on chat all right guys a little butter on the steak right you know make sure that you enjoy that enjoy that butter on that steak oh man we got another steak coming that's going to join it over here you got those carrots oh look how soft they are they're soft but they're still firm oh so excited
and let's see. Oh, okay, so for the watermelon, right? For the watermelon, I want to take a little bit of mint. We've got some mint leaves, and I'll just mince mince those guys up. Uh, you can do a chiffonade, which is thin strips. Plating is a ten. Thank you, Michael. All right. Thank you so much. Dreams, vision, where's my plate at? Uh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming, we swear. Take about three business days, I'm sorry. Take about three business days, right? All right, we got those steaks up. Now, let's do the watermelon, okay? We oh, snap. We already seasoned that with a little bit of salt. You could do pepper if you like. Um, I'm just gonna go straight on. I'm gonna give it a press. Because it's got a high water content, uh, we're gonna need to give it just a little bit of help there. Um, are we still on the grill, Ken? Yes. How did that cedar plank stand with you guys? Oh man, come on Chad, that's pretty. Now let's, uh, let me go ahead and tempt that. I wanna check and see if that's, uh, see where we're at there. Gotta tempt the seafood, man. Yeah, we're at one one thirty one. Uh oh, John. One thirty nine. Dan What's Breeze it? wants a happy dance. Happy dance, happy dance. Oh, let me jump to that. Oh, there we happy go. Happy dance, happy dance. Yeah. Happy dance, Come happy on, chat. Dance. Join happy in chat. Happy dance, happy dance. Can you happy dance in the room with me? Happy dance, Come on, happy chat. dance. Happy dance. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for the call out, brother. Appreciate you. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got going on over here with this watermelon. Watermelon. All right. So we're not trying to cook it through. We just want to kind of sear it on the outside, uh, get some good stuff going on, and... Uh, and uh, kind of intensify the watermeloniness of it. We're gonna watermelon the watermelon. Oh, that looks pretty. Right? I am real happy with this cook here, Justin. Um, Me too. I, I hope that uh, hope that my people at home are, and I hope somebody's ready to win. Oh yeah. You want to remind the chat is, about is, that? Yeah, is is uh, is Monument Grills there? Are we are we gonna pick a winner tonight? How do we uh, enter to win? How do we enter to win? Well, you're on the stream, right? Yes. Give me some love. Give me some love. Give me some love. Give me likes. Give me hearts. Give me likes. Give me hearts. Uh, did you share the stream? Did you share this live stream? And then uh, have you been active in the chat? Those were those were the those were the rules. Yeah. Those were the requirements, right? The requirements. That's it. Who's been with me the whole time? Who's been here, hanging out? There Whoops. we go. That's how we do it. Yeah, it ain't good unless you drop it. Right? I'm just kidding. There we go. All right, there's that. All right. Pretty. Let's see. Let me go get another plate for that. Just so that way. Paul wants to know, he doesn't have a sear. Can he just set his grill on high? You can set your grill on high, Paul, but I don't think you're gonna get the same level of heat. Uh, we've got intense BTUs going on over here, and uh, that's uh, that's the difference, okay? That's the difference that the sear zone makes. Because, I mean, if you see, that was on there quickly, and uh, we've, got, we've got the diamonds, on both sides mm -hmm. in, in less than about five minutes so over here on the on the uh cutting board justin let me get a white plate oh yes, man i i just used the last one oh, yeah. all right white plate we'll get a little bit of that um get a little bit of that mint on there some mint on watermelon mint, interesting mint on watermelon a watermelon mint and then uh so we've got man we've got some fantastic looking fare there i'm excited we still got one more steak right one more steak chat 
Dude, Entering is, the seer zone. This is the big boy, right? Oh right man, right. I think we need a a seer uh a seer seer view. Seer view. Seer view hearing. Okay, um, man, do you wanna do you wanna come and live? Yeah, it? yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Do you come and live it. All right. Let so, me live it. Let me live it. So we're gonna we're gonna bring you in. We're gonna bring you into the action. Right here, folks. This is where the stake meets the seer zone. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my! You see that? Did you see how quickly that that came up? Who was it that asked that? Was that Paul? Was that Paul oh. asking about the about the sear zone? I believe so. Yeah. It it's just it's just such an intense heat that that you know you can't get that from your regular grill. Um, this is something different, something special. And that's how come there is a side, you know, it's got its own attachment. It's it's, its own thing, right? That was quick. That was intense. All right. All right. Thanks, J-Rod. Yes, sir. You. All right. We still got heat going on over here. Oh, chat's loving it. The sear zone. The sear zone. Alrighty, jumping back over here. And we've got uh, this one, the the cooked one. Oh, that's one. still sizzling. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? So if we cut back to the to the sear zone. Oh yeah. We got we got some heat going on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cook a little bit of that uh, side, the, the top cap fat, right? We'll get that, we'll get a sear going on with that. Y'all saw how marbled this was and that's, that's what's going on is it's just releasing all of that fat and that's what's catching on fire. That's pretty, look at that. Intenso. Intenso. Right. They're asking how long on each side for the sear. That depends on your personal preference, but I would say, uh, and and also how I would say also how hot it is, right? Because you don't you don't want to lose control of it. The whole thing with cooking is if you control the heat, you're in control of your dish, and you control the results, right? If it gets out of, if you don't click the tongs, maybe you've seen that. If you don't click the tongs before you start, then your grill is going to catch on fire. I'm just kidding. There's a meme about that, and, uh, <laughs> and, and so I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. But, but really what you want to do is you want to just be in control and, and keep an eye on it. Use all of your senses while you're cooking, right? Use your sight, use your nose, use your taste, use your touch, right? Use your hearing, right? Keep, keep track of this stuff because it all makes a difference right here on your, on your dinner. Check out that fire for a second. All right. That's nice. That's pretty. We got a little sear zone going on. I don't know if you can see those grill marks. Oh, about, those are pretty. How about go to the big cam? Yeah, let's go to big cam. Go to big cam. Jumbotron. Jumbotron. How about that, guys? Prime ribeye. Now you got to let it rest for a minute. But let's see what we did with this, with these other steaks, right? With these little guys over here. Oh, let me jump up to that. Back it up a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, it? Right there. Is that it right there? I think that's focused. Oh, I'm not too man. sure. Oh man. That's pretty. All right, Justin. Are we gonna try some food? Oh, taste test. Yeah. You wanna try the steak? Oh man. You first. Yeah, me first. All yeah. Right. I'll do it off cam. That's pretty darn good. Come we on, We got a little chat. bit of red wine on there. We got some butter. We got the herbs. Oh, chat wants a bite. Chat mm. wants a bite. You gotta reach out. Take a bite, chat. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Mm. Nice. Mm. 
Dropping down. Oh, How mushrooms. About a mushroom? Mushrooms. Mushroom, go there. Mmm. That's great. Mm-hmm. Carrot? Yeah. Carrot can. I'm jumping up to Jumbotron. Mmm. Oh, man. Chat. Chat, you got to try it. Bro. Come on, chat. Bro, do this. Do this at home, for real. You don't want to miss out. That's what it's all about. Chat wants a bite of the carrot. Chat wants a bite of the carrot. Jumbotron. Take a bite, chat. Let me get you one. Three, two, oh. one. Take um, a bite. Nom, 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 oh. nom. <laughs> Super good, right? All right. Oh, yeah. Man, that was amazing. What more could you want, right? How was that mushroom, Justin? That was beautiful. I love mushrooms. Oh, yeah. All right. You want to try some of that steak? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. That's pretty. I hope it's to your liking. Oh, man, that's perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and cut into the big steak, right? Now, this was this was the money one right here. This is the one. That's money, dude. That's money, dude. Oh, that's blue. That's still blue. Is that too blue for you? Oh. Uh. That's pretty. That's money, dude. That's money, dude. Jumbotron? Is that no. what we're doing? No. I no. have to go back and, and, and set that. Okay. Sorry, guys. Lost camera one. You mind passing me a napkin, please? Thank you so much, sir. Oh my God. Good, that sir. That steak is amazing. All right, what do we? What else do we need to try? We need to try some of this. Uh, we need to try some of this salmon, right? Which one do you want to try? You want to try the cedar plank salmon? Man, they're loving it. Oh, they want to try the salmon too. Yeah. Okay. Salmon and watermelon. Okay. That's what they said. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, you can put it right here. Appreciate you, sir. All right. Cedar plank salmon. Oh, Jumbotron. Jumbotron. Cedar plank salmon. Mmm. Flaky. A touch of smoke from the cedar, like a, a, a touch of herbalness. Oh, yeah. Um, it had um, lemon. It had the dill. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That steak is amazing. Jumping down. Oh, they're ready for that watermelon. All right, watermelon's where it's at. All right, J-Rod, let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, the moment of truth, guys. The moment of truth. Jumping up to Jumbotron. Oh, man. Did you get some of that mint? Yeah. That's pretty. So, so it's kind of cool how it sets it off, right? Like, you get that real clean mint, real bright, fresh, refreshing. Yeah. And then here comes the sweetness and the unctuousness. Mm -hmm. And it just tastes like a big bowl of watermelon, man. Oh, man. Chat mm. wants a bite. All Chat. from All from one... Chat wants a bite. Ready, chat? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh, pretty. Oh, man. How about that? Guys, it has been so much fun hanging out with you tonight on Monday night on Monument Grills channel. My name is John. I've been cooking for over 25 years, and I want to share that knowledge with you. Thank you for, for spending the evening with me. The now love. it's time to pick a winner. Oh, yeah. Let's pick a winner. Come on. All righty.
Join every minute. Where's Ray watching from? Ray is on Facebook. Oh man. Oh man. Who's, oh, gonna man. Win? Who's still with me? Who's going to win? Who's still with me? Every. Uh oh. All right. Blow it up, chat. Blow it up. Turn up. Turn up, chat. Who's going to win? Who's going to take it home? Left side. Let me hear you. All right. Right, All right. side. Higher Grilling, Higher Grilling, you just won on YouTube. Thank you for hanging out in the chat. Fire! I love it. I love it. Higher Grilling, way to go, way to go, Higher Grilling. All right. All right, Ray, Ray, you won on Facebook. Ray Sheehan, you won on Facebook. And Higher Grilling Barbecue won on YouTube. I want to thank you all so much for coming. Thanks so much for joining us. Tonight we cooked carrots, we cooked asparagus, we cooked portobello mushrooms, we cooked steak, we cooked salmon, and we cooked watermelon. We grilled watermelon on the sear zone and made it all delicious. Uh, I enjoyed a little bit of red wine. I hope you enjoyed something too. I hope you enjoyed your time and I hope that next time we do a live stream, you share this with your people, with yours, and much love to you for the rest of the week and the rest of the month. We'll see you soon here at Monument Grills and uh, you can find me on my channels at Chef's Backyard. We'll see you soon.